There it is. Hi, Luis. How are Hi, you teacher. tonight? Hi, teacher. Pensé que venía tarde. <laughs> no, everybody connects at 9.03, 9.05. But oh. yeah, it's late already. Hi, Sandra. I remembered. You see, everybody connects at this time exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you celebrate Father's Day, Luis? Yes. What did you do? Uh, I go to a restaurant. Uh, oh, you went to a restaurant? Uh, I went to a restaurant. Nice. What did you eat? Uh, meat. Meat. Uh, Good. Chicken. <laughs> what about you Sandra how was the weekend that was a long weekend we had three days right I can't hear you Sandra you're muted there you go oh I'm sorry teacher <laughs> okay uh, I go to the restaurant and I give a present for my daddy. <laughs> yeah. And I gave I a present. At home. Mm -hmm. Yes. And only stay only at home. Yes. Perfect. Hi, Lisa. We don't did see you. you, uh, you teacher, what do you do, teacher? Uh, the Father's Day? <laughs> for Father's Day? Nothing. I. Because I'm here in Argentina and my dad is in El Salvador. So I only called him and say, hi, happy Father's Day. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I only called him. Ulises, we don't see you, Ulises. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to finish. Okay, finish the platform, I think. This is something we're gonna learn, quantifiers. Pay attention on how they're being used. And after this video, we're gonna practice some others, all right?
No se escucha, teacher. No escucho. Nothing. You couldn't hear anything, guys. Really? What happened? Let me see. What about this? Now? Did you hear that? Escucho no. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Guys, anyway, can you take notes, guys? Please write this on the notebook, okay? All is 100%. And no one is zero percent. So can you zero percent? Can you please write write this on the notebook? Okay, because we're gonna use it right now. Okay, and something I had to mention. Hi Gustavo. All right, Hi. something I have to mention is we're gonna use a few for countables, guys, only for countable things. All right, not for uncountables. Okay, I hope you wrote that. And that's it, okay. Let's practice it. Do you have questions about this, guys? Nope. Well, no. repeat after me first, okay. Say all families. Nearly all families. Everybody repeat, most families. Most families. Many families. Many families. A lot of families. A lot of families. Some families. Some families. Not many couples. Not many couples. A few couples. Uh, a few couples. Few couples. Few couples. And no one. No one. And no one is third person, guys. If you see the conjugation is of the third person. All right. Let's do this exercise together. And then I'm going to send you one. Okay. Help me out. Number one. Can you read it, please? Luis, go ahead. And number two, Sandra. Number three, Gustavo. So get ready. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh and the first is in China. Uh, the response is in China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In China, a lot of women, a lot of women, yes, uh -huh, that works. Sandra, number two. I think she ran away. <laughs> Gustavo, go ahead. Number two. Yeah, you're muted. Maurice, uh, you're gonna do number three, okay? Okay, go ahead, number Sandra. Number two. Sandra, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm Gustavo sorry. for Mauricio, right? Get ready. Uh, number two. Yeah. In Australia, uh, 87 of married couples have children. Yes. Um, in Australia, some married couples have children. Some married, some number two. Nearly, maybe nearly all, because it says nearly casi all. todas. You see, it's almost yeah. nearly. Percent, so nearly all. Nearly. Double. And then okay. In one. the United States, no one's vote <laughs> before the age of the of eighty. Yeah. No one exactly no. in letter S because it is third person, all right. Okay, uh, Mauricio number four and number five. Let me see who's gonna do five. Luis again, all right. Go ahead, Mauricio. Okay, uh, 35 percent of the people in Germany live alone, and the answer I think that is a uh, some people in Germany live alone. It's 35, so I don't know oh, if some, it's maybe. A, 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 few, a, a few, few people? Yes, a few people, all right. And Luis, finally. Uh, number five, 
78% of American high school students have jobs. Uh, the, the answer is uh, most American high school students have jobs. Yes, okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna teach you another one, guys, or others. All right, look, we are gonna study Hold on, let me find it. Where is the exercise? Here it is, all right. With a lot of ads. All right, anyway, we are going to practice, guys. Match, many, little, few, some, and any. All right, let me write them. And let's write them, okay? When, when are you gonna use them? All right, so first you're gonna use match for uncountables, okay? Match. Take notes, guys, and I'm gonna send this uh, for uncountables. You're gonna use many for countables. Little for uncountables. Mm, few for countables, all right? Any for negative, and for questions, all right? And some for affirmative. In general, I'm not gonna explain this because it's gonna be another class, but in general, you're gonna use some in the affirmative form, okay? Sometimes you can use it in questions, all right? I'm gonna put it here for questions, but like in some cases. So you know it is a possibility. Okay. So that means guys, these two mean the same, right? Much and many are the same, but one of them is countable, the other one is for uncountables. For example, I have much money, okay? For example, not real, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I have much money because can you say money, is money countable or uncountable, guys? Uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah, some people say money is countable, but no, guys. Can I say, hey, guys, look, I have four monies. Can I say that? No, right. It's uncountable, the word money. Okay, so I have much. I will give you an example of many with countables. I have many students, for instance, right? Because I can count students. And the meaning is the same. Much and many are the same, okay? Now, the opposite happens with little and few okay i can say the opposite i have little money or i have few students right it's the opposite and then for these i won't give any examples but that's about it i'm gonna send you this to to the whatsapp group okay and then we can practice do you have questions guys I know it's fast, but you can follow this, all right? To Teacher. do the exercises, yeah? Teacher. Tell uh, me. It's correct to say I speak little English or few? No, little, because you cannot say, you cannot say three Englishes, for example. It's uncountable. So little. little. I speak okay. little English, exactly. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's practice. So follow the, the charts and I'm going to send you the exercise. We're going to work in pairs or in a group of three, I think. We can do that right now. Let's see. Yep. All right. Accept the invitation, please. Let me send you the, the link in a second.
Hi guys. Okay, you have Hi, teacher. Let's work. Hi. Can anybody share screen by any chance? Yes. You will? A little. The number two is we had a little of rain. A little. Of, okay. Uh -huh. There was little, a little. Hmm. Oh, there was few food. Few. Few is yeah. countable. Yeah. Se puede decir tres comidas, no, right? No. Ah, cierto, <laughs> yeah. It's not countable. Siempre preguntan, ¿se puede decir tres de estos? Y si no, eh, no es contable. Tres mm. dineros, no. Tres azúcares, no. Nope. Así vean si es contable o no, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Si estás viajas mucho. No, tengo otra. Ok, sí. The second we had. Uh, much rain. I think that is much rain. Much rain. The search there was it was uh, a little food. There was a little food in the fridge. Okay, a little has the poco a few few food. Few is Poco también. Ah, pero es comfortable. Ajá. I think that is little. Little. Ok. Yes. And you travel a lot. How you been to many? Because it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Muchos países. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It costs. Much money to give your children a good education. Much money. Much money. Yeah, when you finish, you can do the next one. I'll say. I, I only speak. In the exercise number two. Six. Thank you. Monedas por la máquina. Yes, ya tengo. Mi, mi question en. Un poco. Um, I speak Spanish. No, un poco. <laughs> uh -huh. De que yo estoy ya en el ejercicio 2. ¿Y usted? No, usted en el primero. Ah, ok. <laughs> yeah, first one. But you can do it too, Sandra, with, with Ulises. Ulises la está proyectando. <laughs> this is the first one. Next. <laughs> No, I understand. They just sound a book. What is the next? There was little traffic, little. See you, Lisa. Later. Right, click on next because Sandra wants to see number two. 
All right. <laughs> Four <laughs> out of ten. I know. <laughs> Four out of ten. Uh, Click on number two. So, yeah. And why did you have four? What happened? Uh, teacher, yo ya estoy en el ejercicio dos. Y en la mía es, don't worry. We have. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yes. And what do you have for number don't one? Cuánto tiempo. Mm -hmm. Dari, um, so we have a lot of time. Well, this is a lot of. Uh, few times. <laughs> a lot of time. A lot of time. Yes. Casi la dejamos, teacher, ¿eh? Reprobados. No, but it's my fault. Because I, did, I didn't see that you had a lot of, of the options. All right, here's what it is. Reprobados, you failed. Here's the problem. Match, we don't, use, we don't use match in the affirmative form. It's more common to use a lot of in the affirmative form. A lot of. In many, it's more common to use a lot of in the affirmative form, okay? I didn't say that because I didn't see a lot of. You see, it's not in the options, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happened to number one. Let me see, have you, let me see number seven. Hold on. There is. Nice. We I use few, you know. Can you get a coin for the few. wedding? Yes, mm -hmm. I have. A few. Yeah. The thing is, here's the difference in meaning, guys. Unas cuantas y tengo pocas. If you say, I tengo pocas, it's like you're saying no, right? No mm -hmm. <laughs> So the meaning is different. You say unas cuantas o pocas. It's the, the meaning is different. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see number eight. It says, there is a sunscreen in the bottle. Okay, this is uncountable to begin with. There's a bit of, there's a little of sunscreen. Both are okay. Both are fine because little and few cannot be followed off by. Ah, okay. Yeah, that is true. I didn't notice. There's a little sun, sun cream. Yeah, that's true. That's the only problem. All right, let's go down. It gives you the explanation too. All right. Yeah. That's awesome. What else? Mm. A little sunscreen. And then that one. Well, if okay. you want to, guys, open this link later and practice some more, okay? But okay. much and many are usually used in negative forms and questions. The substitute in the affirmative form is a lot of. That's something I can mention. All right, we're going to go back now. Okay. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. All right, guys, uh, yeah. let me see who else. They're not back yet. Ulisa and Sandra are probably stuck in the other group. We can't come back. So if you have time later, I recommend you do this exercise and read the answers. Check the answers and read the explanation, all right? Right now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna practice comparative, but with easier questions. So we're gonna speak, okay? Using comparative. Let me see. All right. We're gonna practice in pairs or in a group of three with the questions. So it's gonna be Gustavo and Luis, and then Mauricio, Sandra, and Lisa, all right? Did you get the questions? On the group, let's speak and don't forget to form the comparative correctly. All right, here we go. The big patient, please.
Okay. Comparative speaking car are precursor in pineapple. In order to apricot. I don't know, remember what is apricot tree. Durazno. Apricot. Yeah, it's something similar. But you would call it B, right? Apricot, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Are apricots sweeter than pineapples, please? Mm, I think uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can read the next yeah. question, please. Can you zoom in, Gustavo? Yes. That's better. Thanks. Can somebody share the question? Yes. Teacher, what is what is the meaning of, of apricot? Let's say tea. What? Durazno, let's say tea. No, ah, durazno. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what do you think the answer is? Yes, it is, right? No. No. I think so. <laughs> okay, what's the no. second question? Okay. I think that the, the answer in the first is no. Apricots are are not sweeter than pineapples. I I think. Uh, sweeter than pineapples. Okay, very good. And the second question. Is pizza tastier than hamburger? Mm -hmm. uh, hobby. Hobby. We got it. Uh, the second in hobby. The second. Is karate, is karate more useful than basin? Okay. Uh, for me, the karate is more useful than dancing. Okay. For fire. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, uh, are equal? Are stricter, uh, are stricter than English language teacher. <laughs> what happened? In some case. <laughs> In some cases, okay. Yes. Is his is history less interesting than lecture lecture? I don't know what is. Who is the pronunciation of the 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 literature? <laughs> uh, it's literature. Lirera. Literature. Sure. Literature. Literature. Okay. Literature. 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 The intonation is different. Literature. 
literature. Literature. Literature. Literature. Literature. No, it's on the first one. Yeah, el estreo, o sea, la tilde, ya vamos a estar al principio. Literature. Literature. Yeah, okay. that's the pronunciation. Perfect. Was. Uh, ah, animals. Sí. Yes, comparative. In animals. Uh, comparative. The music. Ah, okay. And the music uh, is for music more positive than rock music. Uh, it depends. But for example, the and literature for uh, bueno, because I uh, sleeping when uh, history. <laughs> and, and, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Are exams harder now? Are exams? Uh, so so. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Um, for me, no. <laughs> I think that it that in the past exams harder. <laughs> okay. In in sports, are boxers stronger than? Gina? Yes. Um, boxer is stronger than Gina. I think that Gina, the Gina, Okay, we're back. Can you see my screen? Yeah, right. That was the easy exercise. Now we're gonna discuss some other more difficult questions. All right, let's see if you're ready. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. But first, help me make a comparison here. What can we say here? We have a kite and an airplane. What can we compare here? With the comet or the what? An airplane is faster. Is faster than than comet. Than a kite. 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 Yeah. Like okay. Kite. Mm -hmm. Kite. All right. What about these two? What can we compare? The scorpion is, is more poison than yeah, more poisonous. butterfly. <laughs> yes, butterfly. That's right. More poisonous. Poisonous means venenoso, guys. You didn't know. That's a good adjective. All right. What about these two? The motorcycle is faster than bicycles. Than bicycles. Then, yeah. And these two? Mm. The, ice, the ice cream is, is sweeter. 
It's more sweet. Yes. More delicious apple. than uh, <laughs> apple. <laughs> more delicious. <Sweeter. laughs> and apples are healthier. Nobody mentioned yes. that. Yes. <laughs> more, more sugar. More sugar. Then ice cream. More sugary. You can say that too. All right. Awesome. So here comes the difficult part because you're going to discuss these questions do your parents get up earlier than you do i think i get up earlier than my mother which do you find easier maths or art do you think you could run faster than a chicken <laughs> yeah i think so i don't know <laughs> all right answer the questions okay with the same people we're still going to practice um let's go back all right let's go back to the group let me send you the image in a second here we go earlier than my parents. What time do they get up? Mm, I don't six know, maybe uh, six o'clock. I, I get up six so o'clock. So you, um, do you get up, um, eh, Luis? Mm -hmm. Do your parents get up earlier than you? No. I get up or I get up early than my parents. And you? Uh, no, I don't get up earlier than my parents. Um, Let's say earlier, Claudia. Earlier. earlier? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Get up earlier than my parents. And I usually get up at 6 a.m. And they usually get up at 5 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and Gustavo, which, which do you find easier, easier, math or art? Or my parents. Okay. What time do they get up? Mm, they, I think that um, at eight o'clock, <laughs> and me uh, at four a.m. Okay. <laughs> Next yeah. question. Um, number two, which yes. do you find easier, math or art? For me, the math is more yeah. easier. Yeah, uh, difficult. For me, math. Mm, no, I don't like paint. Oh, okay. Um, do you think you could run faster than a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I yeah. could run faster than a chicken. I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I chicken is very difficult. <laughs> yeah. I think, well, I could run faster than a chicken, but I have my, uh, how, how do you say, do this? Or 
Well, I'm not sure. Doubts. If I pull. Doubts. <laughs> doubts. Uh, doubts. I have my doubts. Doubts. Yes. Um, the number four is, which animal do you think is a scarier? A snake or a spider? I think the snake. The snake. I think it's the snake is a scarier than a spider. Than a spider, yes. Mm -hmm. Snake. Yeah. Okay. I like a snake. <laughs> snake. Yes, but I don't know. Um, are you shorter or taller than you than your father? Gustavo. I am taller than my father. How tall are you? I don't remember. Mm. One hundred. One meter. One hundred. Uh, one meter. No, one hundred seven. No, 100, 100, 170. Seven. How do you say it? Centimeters. Centimeters. Uh -huh. Meters. Uh-huh. Meters. Centimeters. Centimeters. Yeah, in English, you don't usually say it in centimeters. You say it in feet. In feet, yes. Yeah, but it, it's yeah. us, so 170 centimeters. You're tall. How tall are you, Luis? I... Uh, the middle? No. In the what? I one point eight middle. Okay. One eighty. 180. Yeah. All right. Okay. And you, Claudia? So, um, I'm shorter than my father. I think. I'm uh, me too. My father is Kelly. I am um, one seventy. Repeat, please. I, I, I can listen. I can listen. The next question. Winter is uh, raining. It's today's weather raining than, than yesterday. I yes. think. Yes, today is, is raining the, than yesterday. But I don't know if weather raining because oh, rainier. Windy, rainier. windy is with ER. So we can change uh, rain, rainier. Rainier. Than I would I would personally say more or rainy. No. It's more rainy. Rainy. Uh, yeah, that's better. More rainy. More rainy. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. It's not correct to say rainier. Yeah, but it's not common. It's not common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you describe the weather today? Weather today. It's more rainy. Uh -huh. In the, in in the morning, in my case, all, all week, <laughs> uh, a little sunny, <laughs> but 6 a.m. But after that, it's raining. It started raining after that. Start raining. Yep. Ah, correct. Start raining after that. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. And for me, um, I think that that my English is not better than my friend <laughs> because <laughs> one of my friends, uh, she she practice uh, English all days. And, and and she's uh, working in a in a call center in a call center, and maybe she English is is better than than my English. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> she speak in only English. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> The next. What is the next question? Uh, Okay. Um, do you think people are happier than they were uh, 100 years ago? Why or why not? Is the number uh, eight? Mm -hmm. um, For me, yes, because the life is easier today. It's more easy. And me? Uh, I Hey guys, did you finish the questions? No, right? No. 
Okay, no. but at least you practiced and you spoke a lot, hopefully. All right, we have four more classes and we're finished. Okay, so we're gonna have classes every day, including on Friday, all right? So please be in class, okay? Please try to finish the platform. And that's it. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. <coughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.